I'm not doing this video to chase views or, you know, try to be the first one out with the video. Um, I, I just heard the news at work. Um, first from Philip DeFranco's retweet from the Chadwick Boseman Twitter account. And for the remainder of the time I was at work, I... I couldn't stop thinking of it. Um, and I even left work early just to, just to stop working and get my thoughts down. Um, this is going to be in two parts. The first is just going to be, it's all going to be rambling. Uh, this isn't going to be a pretty video. Um, but it's the first part is going to be my thoughts, and the second part is what I think needs to happen to not disrespect the legend that is Chadwick Boseman. And by the way, uh, take my opinion last. I mean, look at me. Um, uh, and also when something similar happened to another of my favorite stars and another of my favorite franchises, Paul Walker, I was wrong. I said at the time, there's no way to respect Paul Walker's Brian O'Connor if he doesn't sacrifice himself in some big car chase and save someone else. That's the only way to respect him. And I was wrong. The ending was beautiful, and it did it justice. However, this is a different thing, because Black Panther 2 has not started. So, well, I'm going to jump the gun a little bit, but if we fucking get a CGI-faced Chadwick Boseman, I'm going to fucking see red. This is not the same thing. He doesn't have brothers who are stuntmen that I know of. Uh, who could come in. We're not halfway through the production of Black Panther 2. Anyway. <sighs> I have been seeing opening night Marvel movies since Avengers 1. When I did the marathon. Um, that's going to break. I'm going to break that tradition if Black Widow comes out in theaters. In November before we have a COVID cure because. Um, but uh, I, you know, saw Black Panther at the fan event screening. I bought a Black Panther wallet that's somewhere around here. I just moved, so I don't know where it is, but it actually ruined multiple pairs of pants of mine because I had a big metal Black Panther emblem on the wallet and that actually would wear down and cut the insides of my pants pockets uh over time and it ruined multiple pairs of pants actually uh, i still have it because it's fucking awesome but i literally just finished moving so i don't know where it is um oh that movie was infectious uh, I loved it so much. I mean, hell, from fucking Captain America Civil War, which is my favorite movie. My two favorite movies are actually Captain America Civil War, where Black Panther was introduced, and Black Panther, because it's just dense storytelling. That's my favorite. And, I mean, everything from, uh, I am Clint. I don't care. I'm gonna, oh, God, that was a fucking awful accent. Um, I'm gonna... And then, you know, going to Endgame, Clint, uh, and passing him the gauntlet, um, or taking the gauntlet from Clint, Clint, uh, it's past midnight, I'm exhausted, and I think I woke up at like six or seven in the morning, um, there's so many things, just, uh, move, or you will be moved, and <laughs> yeah, that was the first introduction to the Dord Melage, oh, I'm uh I'm so tired. I'm afraid I just fucked up that name. Anyway, um I I I Black Panther stuck in my mind so much that when we saw the portal open in Endgame, 
Uh, well, first I yelled, Sherry! Um, but then, and I think I'm going to fuck up this. I'm just not confident in myself right now with how tired I am. Um, uh, but the second they started chanting, Yombe! Yombe! It didn't, it, I didn't need a, a line or a verse or a whatever. I didn't need them saying it once for me to get in. I literally got it on the first fucking time ever watching with them in sync. <sighs> and god damn, like, he got diagnosed with cancer in 2016. This man is a fucking king. He, 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 he struggled through that and gave us a magnificent goddamn performance. Just legendary, fucking amazing. No one else is T'Challa. No one else is T'Challa. And, um... Jeez, like, I've only seen his Marvel movies and then 21 Bridges, which had Joe and Anthony Russo involved, and that's just... That's a, a much lighter and thinner, uh, just action movie. That's a good red box, or, you know, just buy it, watch it. I still need to see 42. <sighs> but... Damn, like, he held himself with grace, he embodied the character, he introduced me to the fully formed character of T'Challa. Essentially, I, I read a little bit of the current comics before the movie came out, but... Like, fuck. This... This man... Was an icon. Instantly. And he, yeah, he was the one to bring this character to life. Um, I think I'm just going to go into some things that I think would be horrendous if they happened in the sequel, which would be recasting. Oh, man, if they, oh, I, I don't. You know, I don't believe Ryan Coogler or Kevin Feige would do any of this. I don't believe that in my heart. But, um, oh, recasting. Who would that be a fucking mistake? Uh, a CGI Chadwick Boseman for the first 30 minutes and then dies and then passes it on. Oh, oh. Another big mistake. I don't know which one would be worse. Um, Introducing a new character to take up the Black Panther mantle. I think that would be a mistake. I think our Black Panther now in Black Panther 2 is Shuri. That's it. Again, I'm not saying I'm right. This is just how I'm feeling. Um, I think it's Shuri. And, you know, I... I for since I'm doing the X Minutes podcast, I'm thinking about how the X Men are going to be introduced, and you know how Storm has a relationship with Black Panther. I was like, you know what? It would be cool if Nakia became Storm. That would introduce this wild element in Black Panther Two. I know it's Aurora, but I was like, man, that would be really interesting if suddenly Nakia just had these powers and. We shouldn't do that now. Nakia should stay Nakia. And we should introduce Aurora Monroe. And, uh, well, let me... Alright, so this is this is my pitch for Black Panther 2. We start with something similar to Stan Lee's tribute at the beginning of Captain Marvel. Except... Instead of like 50 Chadwick Bosemans, we have all the black actors uh, from the MCU all coming in, not taking clips from the movies like they normally do, but coming in and doing the Wakanda Forever salute. Now, the first movie was about rating the wrongs of the past, the wrongs of the Empire. Uh, or the, the dynasty the, of Wakanda, the hidden wrongs 
the things we gloss over that aren't in the spotlight. And this is where we need to do something to correct a wrong. To correct a wrong that was done by Ike Pearl Fucker. Um, his name's Ike Pearl Mutter, but fuck that guy. That racist, misogynist, piece of shit, sexist ass motherfucker. Look into it. Look into it why it took so long for us to get a Black Panther and Captain Marvel movie. But the crime I speak of is when Terrence Howard was gearing up to come back to Iron Man 2. Ike Perlmutter said, either you're going to take a giant pay cut compared to the contract we signed you on, which rumor has it he was signed on for to make a million dollars in Iron Man 1, uh, two million in Iron Man three or second appearance, and then four million in the third appearance. And Ike Perlmutter uh, reportedly said something along the lines of, "If you don't take the lesser money, we'll just recast you because the audience won't give a shit. One black person for another." Don Cheadle's amazing. I'm not trying to minimize Don Cheadle's role in these movies, but Terrence Howard was fucked over. And there's, like, rumors that Terrence Howard was difficult on set of Iron Man 1. I don't care. You know, I care if he was difficult and, like, for everyone else that had to go in. But if he was difficult or not, Ike Perlmutter still was a piece of shit with how he did that. So, Terrence Howard is part of that intro montage of all the black actors coming and doing the Wakanda Forever salute. And for just that one day to come in and do that salute, he will be paid the $6 million he would have made on the second and third outings. Now, if he wants to come back and do another character after that right has been wrong, cool. But he will be part of... That Marvel flipping comic book pages, all the black actors coming and doing the Wakanda salute. And he'll be paid six million dollars for that one day. That is making up for the wrongs of the past. Of the past of the MCU dynasty. And it will end with it kind of minimizing and we get a big Black Panther in the background just looming and the flipping Marvel logo, Marvel Studios logo will fade and we get Black Panther. That fades. We get a funeral scene. Now I know they did uh, had a lot of boats with T'Chaka's funeral if I'm remembering correctly, and we do something similar, but it's it's dark. Oh, and the Marvel Studios logo is completely black and silver, like Black Panther's suit, instead of red and all that. Um, And then, but it's raining, it's dark, and maybe we also get a funeral in Oakland. Um, And then, after that, We find out that Nakia is queen. Maybe she got married to to T'Challa, you know, in between Black Panther 1 and 2, or, you know, between Endgame and Black Panther 2. She's queen now. Shuri is Black Panther. Okoye is doing what Okoye does best. She's in the same spot. Um, But there's now... A new character, Aurora Monroe, and her journey in this film will be very much like Wanda Maximoff's in Avengers Age of Ultron. She developed powers, found her powers. Now, in my in my uh, idea for the mutants is, you know, the, the snaps cause mutants to be created. So... In Wakanda, or maybe somewhere nearby, she has developed her power. She has no control over it. It's going haywire, and T'Challa tries to save people and 
stop her, not hurt her, not defeat her, but calm her down and get all the storm powers going everywhere to calm down. And inadvertently, she kills T'Challa. This is the part that can go. It can go completely if you want. I'm not married to it. I just... And I didn't introduce this properly. I think we all need the whole movie to grieve, to to process our emotions, our the tragedy of Chadwick Boseman's passing, our devastation, our anger, our just need to weep for him, for the loss of him throughout the entire movie, not just an intro. And then we move on and it's all fun and games, cool technology and uh, driving cars from the other side of the planet uh, like Shuri does in Black Panther 1. And I know it's probably not from the other side of the planet, but you know what I mean. Um, no, we need to. We need to process our grief from beginning to end. And the way I propose we do that is we have Aurora Monroe, who before the movie started accidentally killed Black Panther. And throughout the movie with Namor, I think it's rumored that would be the villain, uh, she, we, we hate her. We hate her because she took Black Panther from us. But, and the characters hate her. Nakia, the love of her life, gone. Okoye, her king. Shuri, her sister, gone. Angela Bassett, she's there, but she has stepped down as queen. Nakia is queen. They all feel a type of way about Aurora Monroe and the unintended tragedy she has brought upon the kingdom of Wakanda. But they will be Wakandans and try to help her. And she will redeem herself and help them save Wakanda from Namor. So throughout the whole part, and, and, and because she's a mutant, that helps us kind of get in the mindset of what human beings are supposed to feel about mutants in the first place, which is fear, unpredictability, uh, anger. Um, but she ends up honoring T'Challa's memory. And uh, in the beginning, we also get like quick overcast Things like no one challenging Nakia as queen and Shuri getting the heart shaped herb. We can't, we can't, mm, we can't show Chadwick Boseman in the afterlife. So I don't know if we just don't show the afterlife. Or just don't show his angle, maybe show a glimpse. But, um. And then we can fill in the rest of the movie from there, but. That is the way I see forward. Also, the movie needs to be pushed back two years, hands down, right away. The release date, nope. Uh, nope. Start over. Two years from now. Blank slate. And, I mean, it doesn't need to be said, but fuck all my opinions about what needs to be done. You know. I'm I'm spiraling just thinking about losing Chadwick Boseman and no way 
it was him as Black Panther as impactful to me as it was for so many others. So my opinion is last. But I... His, his legacy, I think, is in good hands. Um, no, I know it is. What am I saying? <sighs> um, also, like, I just wanted to do this myself. But, you know, Wolf Hogan, he, uh, he... I think he's hurting a lot more than I am. I mean, come on, obviously. Talked to him a little bit, and I didn't invite him to talk with me because if, uh, if, I mean, come on. If it, I don't want to rush him, anybody in the fair would have felt like, hey, yeah, we're not even talking about the MCU, but I know, like, we've kind of talked about uh, Black Panther 2 a bit, uh, and you're black. And so let's let's record something right now. Um, he may do one of these for himself. He may not. He, he, if he does, he said he needs at least a few days to process. Um, and there's no pressure. But I, but I, but 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 I, but I did not invite him to come on here and do this with me because. Ah, oh, man, that just felt dirty. Felt wrong. To, like, be like, hey, we just found out that Chadwick Boseman died 30 minutes ago. You want to fucking record tonight? Um, but I needed to record. Just to... I just need to get it out. I... I wish we got more from him, but he did enough. And I can't imagine what that kind of battle must have been, but I hope he's resting now. And now T'Challa's with his father and cousin now. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know what else is, what else there is to say. <sighs> Respect the family's wishes for privacy. And, uh, you know, if we get Sure, he is our next Black Panther. All you motherfuckers that keep making goddamn fucking memes about how Tony Stark is smarter than Sure, even though they've just fucking. They've. It's. Who gives a shit? They just fucking said Shuri's smarter, the smartest person in the MCU. And they showed it by having her be smarter than Bruce and Tony in terms of how to build vision. Fuck off. Just. Sorry, I didn't want to talk about that. I wanted to keep it to Chadwick Boseman, but I'm just like seeing the toxic 
fucking people just coming out of the woodwork who just can't fucking handle who gives a shit she's smarter than Tony cool who cares sorry I'm just I'm just I don't know what to say. Oh, what? <sighs> what kind of forever?